Hey guys, it's Ronnie Sefertis. I'm going to be using cream cheese. This is from the brand Philadelphia. I'm using three packs at dream temperature and I just chop them into like little cubes. Helps with the speeding up process of getting things into room temperature. Then I'm using some sweetened condensed milk, two cans. I'm going to be using some vanilla extract, a teaspoon of that, lemon juice, and I just squeezed one third of a cup of like fresh lemon juice. Now, because my parents don't bake at all, they don't own a mixer, but they do have this food processor. It's quite vintage, as you can see. It used to be white, I think my mom told me, or of white, but it's getting some memories in here. And I think I want to get a mixer because it's easier with a mixer, but just in case you just own a food processor, just to let you know that you can use this. I wouldn't use a blender though. I have tried to make this recipe on a blender and it doesn't work. But yeah, I'm gonna be adding my uh, cream cheese and just, you know, process, how do you call this? If this is not a mixer and you mix in a mixer, you process in a food processor, I don't know. But I'm gonna be just mixing this until it's nice and creamy. Once that's done, I'm gonna be adding my condensed milk and yeah mix again then i'm going to be adding my vanilla and my lemon juice and mix just until it's well combined don't over mix it because then it's going to be like too runny and you need it to be stable for when you cut your pies for my pies i'm going to be using uh this two pie crusts they are star bought but you can make them at home but i'm going to be adding my filling and just making uh them as even as possible and yeah this is how my smoothing everything and those to go to the fridge until the filling is not as runny anymore it should be more stable i'm going to be using some like peaches in syrup these are some like store-bought you can work with like sliced peaches as well just slicing them myself i don't know we just prefer the flavor of like the ones that come in halves like this and then i'm just gonna be adding them like that you know displaying them like this this is a classic recipe for our family and i wanted to share with you this these are pretty affordable super yummy and um, easy that you can make all year round but yeah i really hope you like this and uh, you try them don't forget to give this yet themselves up. Check out more recipes that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this and share them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.